Have you ever asked yourself, what's the fastest way to get bigger biceps? If you have, you're definitely not alone. Most people start their fitness journey with a vision of building strong, defined arms, but they quickly realize it's not as simple as just lifting weights. In fact, many people spend months, even years on routines that don't fully target the biceps for maximum growth. And let's be real, it's frustrating to put in all that effort without seeing the results you want. The good news, building bigger biceps doesn't have to be a mystery. In today's video, I'll take the guesswork out of the equation by breaking down the three most effective exercises to not only increase bicep size and strength, but to improve function and health of the shoulder, which can help you prepare for bigger compound lifts. Before I get into the exercises, let's discuss the action of the bicep, which consists of two heads, the long and the short head. The long head originates from the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. The short head originates from the coracoid process of the scapula, where the pec minor and the coracobrachialis muscles originate. The two muscles insert on the radius and more broadly on the forearm via the bicipital aponeurosis. And as we navigate the bicep from insertion to origin, we create supination of the wrist, flexion of the elbow, and flexion at the shoulder. Now, exercise one, I'm demonstrating the high cable bicep curl. This is an excellent exercise to challenge the fully shortened position of the bicep. It's worth noting that an upper limit of shoulder flexion can be easily reached in this movement. The only thing I'm missing from this exercise is something from my offhand to hold on to. So it's imperative to approach shoulder flexion with care. And second, it's important to adopt the neutral scapular plane in order to allow the rotator cuff to express its ability to stabilize the humerus. It's best to do this exercise unilaterally and have an externally rotated shoulder to maintain supination at the wrist, as well as upward rotation of the scapula by using the serratus to fix the scapula into place. In essence, the externally rotated shoulder provides effective and sustained tension throughout the movement. This exercise can be a great way to improve range of motion of the shoulder, push the capacity of the client in this shoulder position without heavy pressing or pulling, and serve to incrementally achieve full overhead positions. I highly recommend the bicep curl to be an added addition to your workout. Next, I'm demonstrating the single arm preacher curl. This exercise exhibits moments of flexion at the shoulder, which is advantageous from a length tension relationship, as well as from a standpoint of external stability. Here are some tips for performing a single arm preacher curl. Adjust the seat height so your upper arm rests flat on the padding. Start with your weakest arm and squeeze your bicep at the top of the movement. Lower the weight back down until your arm is fully extended and repeat with the other arm. The single arm preacher curl is a great adjunct to your workout to hit the mid range of the bicep while providing stability with the bench. Lastly, exercise number three, I'm demonstrating the incline dumbbell curl, probably my favorite bicep exercise to challenge the fully lengthened position of the bicep. The goal here is to create the greatest amount of length and distance to disadvantage the bicep. Be sure to retract and depress the shoulder blades while externally rotating the shoulders to provide the greatest amount of extension. Additionally, when readying to lift the weight, do not rotate from your wrist. Rather, you'll want to externally rotate from the shoulder so that your palms are facing the ceiling. All of these adjustments help to achieve the full stretch of the bicep in relation to the elbow and shoulder. Hopefully being specific with this will help you make gains while mitigating risk of injury and preparing your body for bigger compound lifts like squats and deadlifts. So there you have it. Today you've learned the action of the bicep along with three very effective exercises taking you through the fully shortened, mid-range, and lengthened positions of the bicep to build strength while also promoting healthy shoulder joints as well. So rather than doing just arbitrary bicep work, try implementing these three exercises to help excel your training and take your biceps to another level. Lastly, I want to thank Dr. Jordan Shallow with Prescript for helping me implement these exercises into my workout routine. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day. If you want my step-by-step -step blueprint on how to get your body back to what it once was 10 to 15 years ago without rearranging your life, click the first link below. If you enjoyed this content, YouTube thinks you'll like this next video.